Hi, my name is Bart Polson, and I'm going to be running a short tutorial on using StatCrunch to do a scatter plot between two quantitative variables. Now, the first thing you need to do is get to StatCrunch.com, and then you need to log in here. I'm already logged in, and I'm going to use a data set that already exists in StatCrunch, so I'm going to go over here to Explore. I'm going to click on this little triangle right here and say Explore Data. And I'm going to use a data set that is called YMS Table 1.15. Truthfully, I have no idea what that stands for, but it has some good data that has to do with SAT. So this is the one, truthfully, that looks like my high school that I went to. I'm going to click on that one, and we bring it up. It says this, this is information by state. So we have the state, the population in thousands, average SAT verbal and math scores, the percent of uh, students taking the SAT, the percent of people there with no high school diploma, which is kind of frightening. This is teacher pay. I'm going to make it a little bit wider. Teacher pay in thousands of dollars. And this is the region of the country and the percent of people there over 65. Okay, great. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to look at teacher pay and SAT math scores. Because they're both quantitative, a scatter plot's probably the best way to do this. So I'm going to go up here to graphics, and I'm going to come down to scatter plot. Now I just need my X and my Y variables. I'm going to use teacher pay as a method for predicting. Uh, test scores because you know it's a reasonable assumption that the more you pay teachers you could get better teachers and more dedicated more hours and that would cause an increase in test scores so on the bottom on the X variable I'm going to put teacher pay and up the side I'm going to put SAT math scores okay fine I'm not going to select any particular scores I'm not going to group things right now however I will go to say I want an and point the lines thing is just a disaster. I wouldn't ever want to use that. Uh, but I am going to put uh, labels here. So for instance, I'm going to put teacher. Let's put actually let's put this as average teacher salary in and that means in thousands of dollars. Up the side, I'm going to put SAT, let's go with this, average SAT math scores. And then for the title across the whole thing, I will put um, scatter plot of teacher salaries and SAT math scores for all 50 let's say let's say for 50 states okay good enough click that um, this would be if I wanted more than one scatter plot on a page I don't so I'm just going to press create graph and voila there is my scatter plot got a whole bunch of dots uh, strangely enough it looks like it's a downhill pattern a little bit where the higher the average teacher's salary the lower the average SAT math scores, which, you know, truthfully is not what I want to hear. Um, if I want to look at the exact nature of the association, I'm going to need to do a regression, which I will do in the next installment. See you there.